wanted to hear your, your opinion about the game and um, how do you feel right now? <laughs> to be honest with you, um, I'm pretty sad. I'm pretty sad because we play very well. We, this team didn't know what to do in the first half, but uh, the problem is that we have to finish. The, the perfection of our game, that was completely good, but until, but we have to score. Because if we score, they, they give up. They just, they don't have anything else. But because we didn't score and they, they make changes and they took the risk. They went for all or nothing. And then we, we concede three goals that, you know, I think it's a lot of, it's too much punishment. Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't know if it's PK or not PK. Uh, well, I think some calls, but I'm not going to make excuse about that. We cannot concede so many goals and then we can, if, if we concede so many goals with teams like this, they, you know, it's just, it's going to be disappointed, disappointed night because uh, no doubt that the team, the team on the field was with the ball. We were um, better in all aspects. They they were defending, 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 and then you, they're trying to look for a, a counter attack. Uh, but then you know we we today we couldn't finish our chances. And in this game, if you don't finish your chances, you're gonna pay for that away or at home, and we pay for what we didn't do. Coach, it's been a little while since the team hasn't had a result at home. Uh, I, the last time I can think of the team not gaining a result at home was the COVID season. And now we're seeing our, this, the Frenchers are seeing so many familiar position. But what do you tell the players after dropping this team that, that it just kind of leaves a dollar taste of mouth after what had happened in the first half. Yeah, listen, it's, it's that we have to continue believing, but we cannot, we cannot allow ourselves to do some mistakes, clear mistakes. Um, I totally understand if they build the, the games, yeah, if they build, uh, the, the, the opportunities and they finish those opportunities because they're better than us. Uh, listen, uh, it's, it's the game. If they're better than us, they're better than us. But we cooperate with that. We cooperate with those goals and uh, we have to be better with that. So it is sad because, again, it's not like we've, we were feeling that any moment they're going to score. No, we were feeling that we were always in possession, always on, in control of the game. But uh, you have to finish the chances. When you have so many chances in front of the goal, the goalkeeper, if you don't finish, you're going to get punished. And we got punished really bad, really ugly. And it's the, <clears throat> the, the, the sad part. But we cannot change what we've been doing. Something is good right there. Something is positive right there. So we have to, I have to continue believing that this group can get out of these situations, working together. And, you know, we're gonna, I'm not, we're not gonna give up. If it's something that we, we're gonna do is, we're gonna continue fighting with our style but trying to make sure that you know when we put the ball in the net, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be more positive. On a more tactical aspect, uh, in the past, in the last game against uh, San Diego Loyal, uh, their formation led to a lot of open space out of the back that uh, Ricky and uh, and Andy were able to capitalize on and got and got sure all the victory. In this match, it looked like uh, that Tampa Bay uh, really kind of settled themselves out in the back, closed down all the spaces, and so your wingers, Ricky and, and Andy, were unable to generate a lot of opportunities or clearer opportunities 
in this game compared to the last. As the, the head coach, uh, what can be done to counteract that kind of play style so that any other team that comes into H.E. Park and tries to quote unquote park the bus is ineffective in uh, keeping the clean sheet against your team? Uh, yeah, no, listen, it's going to happen. It's going to happen that, you know, every time teams, they see if the way we pressure, the way we keep possession, the way we attack, they're going to drop and they're going to be defending and looking for that long ball. That's no doubt about it. But I don't see any kind of problem because in the first half, I think we have three or four face to face with the goal. Cristiano was able to create those chances. The problem is we need to put the chances away. And right there, when you're at home, you have one, two, three, four. If you don't put them away, what you're giving the opponent is life for them to one counterattack, one opportunity to capitalize, and then you're going to be under pressure, which it happens in the second half. And, you know, uh, it is the risk that they took, but they took a good risk because they capitalized those, those opportunities and we, we, didn't, we weren't able to capitalize those opportunities and then we, now we were paying the price. So uh, that's why we have the field, big field. The big field, we're trying to, you know, because if we had a field that is small, it's gonna be more complicated. Uh, this is who we are. We don't have too many big athletes on the field where we can send the ball in the air and win in the air. We have to build this way. It is the way we are. We, don't, we won't change. We cannot change. But I believe that if we are a little bit more focused on finishing those opportunities, being more calm and ready to finish those opportunities, we're going to be able to, <clears throat> to continue enjoy the way we play. Because, to be honest with you, I enjoy the way we play. The only thing is you have to put the ball in the net, otherwise, you know, they're going to they're gonna enjoy the party. They enjoy the party because they put the ball in the net. But after that, you know, we dance with them. They, the players dance with them, but then they, you know, they got the prize. So it's the game, it's cruel, it's not fair, uh, but that's the game and we have to deal with that. Uh, so just real quick, uh, we'll speak about obvious uh, substitutions that were happening before a uh, great game uh, due to some unfortunate tournament tests there. Talk about the performance from Suzo playing on the back line and, and how he shut it down for you on those lanes despite having like short notice to prepare for that. Well, yes, it's, it's, it was fantastic for me. You know, we, we lost Jonathan before the game and um, he wasn't able during the warm up. Then we didn't have a, we have, by the way, we have 10, 11 lefties in our team. So it is a little bit crazy to have 11 lefties. So we have more lefties than righties in our team. So, uh, Surdo, I asked him and he said, yes, coach, I want to play, I can help. And not, he not, not only helped, he played well. He was outstanding doing the job. He right away won situation at the beginning of the game and then he adjusted and then, you know, it was fantastic going forward, had a chance. That's what we want. We want the players to feel comfortable. <clears throat> we're not the most athletic team, and we're not going to be athletic, and we're not going to change that. But we're changing our athleticism, working together, being united, being like group together. And when we do that, we not only play well, but we win the ball back, and we create some options, and hopefully, hopefully we come back with good results because we want to win at home. We are uh, looking forward to win at home. Uh, 
tiempo a ajustarse y al punto que eh, a, aportó al equipo en este reencuentro? Sí, es lo bonito de, de, del equipo, que los jugadores están listos y bueno, aunque el zurdo jugó en una posición diferente, no, nunca es zurdo, por eso le llamamos, utiliza su pierna izquierda y lo pusimos de lateral derecho, pero jugó un excelente partido, hasta que tuvo calambres, ya bueno, uh, es normal, no... no no, no ha jugado 90 minutos y cuando vienen los calambres hay que hacer los ajustes. Pero mientras estuvo en el terreno de juego fue muy inteligente, jugó muy bien, ajustó las marcas, aprendió a, a contrarrestar a un jugador, a uno de los más peligrosos y mejores de ellos, hasta que lo sacaron. O sea que hizo un trabajo excelente, estamos muy contentos por, por él y estamos muy contentos porque el equipo no cambia a pesar de sufrir bajas, no cambia la mentalidad y la idea de juego. Eso es positivo. Ahora, obviamente, necesitamos transferirlo en goles y, y, y puntos, que es lo, lo único que nos va a dar la posibilidad de, de seguir adelante. Muy bien, buenas noches. Una alineación interesante. Se vio muy bien en el primer tiempo. Comentaba que son jugadas individuales de, que no son contundentes y eso puede cambiar el partido. De haber ido a un posible un 0, un 2-0 arriba, en el segundo tiempo le dan la oportunidad al equipo visitante, aprovechan la oportunidad de un penal. ¿Qué se necesita para evitar que siga pasando esto en casa? Sabemos que están buscando opciones para ir mejorando y trabajando en esa línea técnica o estratégica para poder tratar de dejar puntos en casa. Eh, necesitamos continuar. Yo pienso que todavía nos falta la, la confianza de creer en lo que estamos haciendo un 100%. Cuando ellos cambiaron y metieron a tres centros delanteros, yo sentí que el equipo un poco se tiró atrás. Y eh, ahí fue donde pienso que cometimos el error porque la fortaleza es ir todos, no tener miedo, arriesgar, mantener las líneas cerca y cuando nos hicieron el, la jugada del penal estábamos muy estirados, estábamos muy individualizados y nosotros en lo individual no somos atléticos, no somos tan fuertes y ahí vamos a perder, entonces ahí es donde de pronto cometimos el error donde tenemos que seguir creyendo y donde hay que mm, trabajar para que no perdamos nuestro estilo de juego, nuestra, nuestra forma, nuestra, eh, eh, la, la forma que tenemos de, de, de parar el equipo, que estar todos juntos, cercanos y si tenemos que estar juntos arriba, también tenemos que estar juntos al, en frente del arco.